aren't concerning that matter. I think sometimes we get in, maybe we get in fear because um, we're kind of separated in our mind, you know. Um, but once we allow, once we get in His presence and we allow Him to work, you know, work in us His heart and His mind, um, that fear will go, you know, because He's not given us a spirit of fear, yeah. but of power, and love, and a sound mind. Yeah. So just wanted to, you know, guys encourage you guys with that scripture there, you know, because we're not supposed to be walking in fear. Um, we're supposed to walk in His steadfast love. Um, neither is there anything to be ashamed of either when we're dealing with these things. There's nothing to be ashamed of. He loves um, He loves to get down in the nitty gritty with his people. That's He loves that. <laughs> he loves that. That's true. Right? That's right. Right? 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 Um, but he does. Um, the darkness and the light are both like alike to him. Um, but the reason he likes to get in the nitty gritty with us is the reason that he likes to get in the nitty gritty with us. Mm. I'm trying to think. I know God. I know there's a reason for that. You know, he, he wants to get down there in the nitty gritty with us because he loves us so much. Mm. He's not. He's not afraid of you know of our weaknesses. He's That's not afraid it. of our right. Right. He's not afraid. You know, he's not afraid. He's like you know I love you for who you are. I mean yeah. you know I love you for who. I know you are in there. Yeah. So that's why, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so if you just want to go to um, this last scripture. Actually, there's two more, but um, Psalms 139. Um, this is a really good chapter. Psalms 139, verse 15. I'm just going to kind of skip around, but it's starting at 15, um, 15, 17, 19 through 22. But Psalms 139, 15 says, My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. And then when you jump to 17, it says, How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. And then 21, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not, and am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Yes. Um, and so you have to, you know, have the mind that, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to play with you. Come you know, on. you've yeah. already taken up enough of my life. Yeah. You know, um, there has to be a righteous anger that comes, you know, when you become aggressive with these things, you know, that were assigned against you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but God is, you know, passionate and faithful towards us. And, you know, you can see it in the up, in the up verses where it says, my substance was not hid from thee. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. The way that I read that, you know, when I first interpreted it, um, the way that I see it is that when I was made in secret, you know, almost like darkness kind of, um, and then curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, um, I'm pretty sure that this could probably be interpreted a couple ways, but the way that I um, initially thought about it was that um, curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, you know, the earth, you know, like dust, mm -hmm. curiously, you know, wrought in the lowest parts, um, that kind of stuff, you know, darkness and iniquity and those mm -hmm. kind of things, you were, you were there. You know, you were with me when I went through those things. Yeah. You know, um, you saw those those areas being formed in me, yeah. and, and they don't scare you. You know, right. yeah. but the thing is that you know we have to face them. Yes. You know. Yeah. 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 They don't scare God. Um, but yeah, and so um, now the question is why? Um, why? Why do we have to become aggressive with these things? Why do we have to allow God to come in these areas and expose these areas and thrust them out and, and, and allow them to destroy us? All the while not being afraid, all the while trusting God and holding on to Him and worshiping Him and, and allowing Him to love on you. Why do we have to um, do these things? What's the purpose? For what reason? Um, because I don't want to settle for anything less than what God has for me and has ordained for my life. Why? Because the word says. That's what. It, that's what the word says. <laughs> that's not in my notes, but I thought of that. The word says that His word is coming as a sharp and powerful, you know, two-edged sword, coming to pierce and divide soul and spirit, you know, and thoughts and the intents of the heart. So um, that's one reason. Just because the word says. <laughs> but um, why? Because I care too. Why should we allow God to come in these areas um, and expose these areas and allow our weaknesses to be brought before us? You know, um, it's because like I remember when when it was happening with me, I had to I had to like care about my life. You have to care about your life. Oh my God, you have to care about your life. You're worth it. You're worth it. There's value there. 
you know, you really have to care. You have to really care. Because if God, God cares, you know, and he loves you and he says you're precious, you know, we're supposed to, be like, you know, we're supposed to have like the mind of Christ. We're supposed to agree with him. So if he cares, then you ought to care. Um, and because hope, because hope is my reason. And that's what, you know, causes you to go forward is hope. You know, I know that there is, there is far more, um, there, there is far more than I could ever imagine laid up for me. Um, mm -hmm. When I'm speaking to me, I mean all of us, you know, mm -hmm. make it, that's why I'm making it personal. You know, mm -hmm. trying to make it personal. But, you know, there's far more than I could ever imagine laid up for me. Things that my, that, that, that eyes have not seen. And I want was, um, des I want what was designed for me from before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. I don't want to settle for a copy, for a substitute, but I want what is original. I have to have what is original, what is real. You know, something that touches my soul and is worth living for. Come on, um, man. Oh, wow. yeah. That's something that I'm like, wow, like really burning in my heart is just the original, the yeah. original copy, the original design. Yeah. That like burns in me because it's like you know deep down in there there's something, there's something real, there's something awaiting you, there's something different from what this world has to offer. And, um, and I mean, that's, that's what that keeps me going is that, that original design. You know, um, we don't have to settle for the way that, that the world is trying to show us. Right. That's just a, a, a rob. That's like a um, trying to rob and steal from you, trying to be a thief. Right. You know, but God has some things in His mind towards you. You know, from before the foundation of the world. So, I won't settle for anything less than complete and total restoration. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I won't settle for anything less than complete. Restoration. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Total, complete and total restoration. Not half restoration. Not this little bit. No, I want everything that you have for me. I want it. I want to experience it all. You know, I know you guys can agree with me that, you know, where you are now, even even when you said it, you know, where you are now, it's like, it's like, it has, it's not even anything compared to where God wants to bring us, you know. And um, I am not about to settle here. I'm not about to stop here by any means. I know that I need so much more of God. Um, yeah, I won't settle for anything less than what I was created for. There's a burning passion and desire in me to stop at nothing less than Christ. Um, so what I see now is only in part. There is a cry in me for order. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. For things to be done according to the pattern. Yes. You know, because God placed that cry on the inside of our hearts. Yes. You know, His Holy Spirit he placed that cry inside of us. Um, and no matter where you go or how far you try to run, uh -oh. <laughs> it's always going to be there. You know, it's never going to be right wow. until it's never going to feel right until right. you get into alignment with God, with the presence yeah. of God. Until you just have to park your butt. Right in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, look, um, closing, uh, Hebrews 11 and 10. I love this scripture. And I don't even know why. Um, I mean, I just love it so much. And I mean, I really don't know the multitude. You know, I really don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what it really, you know. But um, Hebrews 11 and 10. Yeah. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. I just love that scripture. You know, because Abraham, you know, he was like looking. He was looking for that city. You know, he, was, he never stopped. He just kept going.